Greetings everyone, this is Spin, and welcome back to another episode of my Bloodlines walkthrough series. Last episode, I got through the Dark Cathedral episode, we've escaped that, and now we're in downtown, and the third level, Epidemic. So, let's get going. I'm glad to get out of that museum. Now where am I? Looks like we're in downtown, and a very populated town so far. So... Right in front of us is a bunch of cultists, a lot of them, but they don't see me. And since it's a little bit dark, I'm going to use the beast fisher. And I'm going to lay out the napalm. And that is one oblivious cultist. One all over there. And we got one more too. Yeah, dude. She's annoying crows coming to peck at me. Get these rats, these street rats. I need to get into that tunnel somehow. So yeah, this is where we need to go. This is the exit, so we go here. There must be a key on one of those wax outside. So we need to find a key to get to the tunnels. There's a zombie over here. Also, if you shoot the little barrier here with the no admittance sign, we get a little secret area, non-secret area, I should add. It's not tactical. And I would use the aerosol, but the hitboxes are bad with all these chairs, in a way. Yeah, very easy to miss bloated, bo uh, bloated butcher. So let's go to the gun store. Now there's a basic armor right here, but be ready. A phantasm will spawn. And now that we've taken care of the phantasm, let's grab the eye key. Two cultists will spawn. That takes care of them. Let's go to the library. Okay, so what I was about to do before I got rudely interrupted by the rat, I was going to throw some bundles of dynamite into this area here. Because there's a bunch of butcher zombies in there. And this is a tight corridor or so, and looks like I got all of them. Now this area is not really mandatory, it's just more like a side quest, but if you want the 100% kills, you would have to go here. Players in a shotgun. Let's stop by Alice's restaurant. I see. They've been left for dead. For sure, indeed. Everybody's been killed, it looks like, save for a few civilians. Now, to my left, there's going to be a bloated butcher. I don't have enough aerosol left, so there's a life essence if you need it. So let's stop by this hotel looking area. Uh, it's stuck. It's stuck. Front desk has a shotgun. Well, this looks bleak. If you grab the shotgun shells, a butler zombie will show up. Hmm. A few of the floors above must have caved in. Locked. Locked. Okay, flip the light switch. You're not a zombie. But he is. And so is he. Yeah, two zombies will come out of that bathroom. And there's an aerosol spray. What's this? Okay. 
It's some kind of gateway into the other world. Now, for these two, there are two phantasm in this gateway here, but... Okay, one of them came out. Now, sometimes one phantasm will fly out this gate here, but there's a second one there, but it is nowhere to be found. It just constantly flies in that gateway of the void, which makes getting 100% kills impossible. It's like I've never had a playthrough where both phantasms came out to play. So, we'll be one less kill shy today. Yeah, a little small area, really cramped apartment area where you have to kill the bloated butcher and the shotgunner. Okay, well since we got the I key, we can go to the toy store, which is the door net which requires the I key. It's a nice area. Look, they even got a train set up. Which is neat. Now don't go running through the gates just yet. I'm going to throw a bundle of dynamite right here. And we just ambushed the ambushers. Voodoo dolls right here if we need it. Good weapon to use. A little non-secret area with TNT. So we got the dagger key, so which means we have access to the tunnels. I'm going to throw a dynamite all the way over here. Just to get one of those zombies. Alright, now let me... Oh, I used up all my beast vision. That's fine. I didn't need it anyway. Alright, take care of that ambush. There's a gargoyle in here. And since it's so cramped... Really can't use the napalm here, so I'm gonna do this. A couple of rats up in here. Alright then, so let's go. And since it's gonna be a long walk ahead, there's a free limo over here. Not a limo. I was going to say, we have a hearse that we can drive, so let's go for a ride. We won't be picking up any hitchhikers this ride. That diner's on fire. Well, looks like we've just arrived to our destination. So yeah, that's the two levels, Epidemic and Gateway to Hell, which is a transition level. Now, Epidemic is town level which is the first level in this somewhat of a two-in-one special it's a town level it feels like a reminiscent of the third episode of the original blood since it takes place in a town it's a big open area but there's not a lot of places it, like it doesn't feel too big but it's just the right amount of size it's like you have the library you have the hotel the toy store all those buildings and a couple of alleyways that you can go to to find additional items. Overall, it's a very solid stage. It's one of my favorites in the Bloodline series. And for episode one, at least. And the transition level where you drive in a hearse is a pretty neat set piece. It's, it's 
it will really just serves you to get you to the next level and that's just about it but i like that sort of thing so overall i'd say this is a very good level and a nice transition to the final level and of course that'll be next episode when we do that so as always i hope you enjoy the video and i'll see you in the next one see ya